Hello everyone and welcome once again to another House and Home show. Hope you all had a great weekend and are looking forward to another challenging week. Well, we're in the second month of 2016. Like I did say in the last episode, time sure does fly. Children getting back to school and yes, congratulations to those who have passed their examinations and are moving on to higher levels of educational institutions. It's a feeling of total excitement you can contain. And for those of you who have somewhat stumbled in certain subjects, never give up. You still have a long way to go. A brand new year is another the golden chance to make things right. Anyways, now to our house and home show. Our lineup for tonight includes Cooking with Goodman Filda, Shopping with Brian Bell, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Animal Plus, and finally, we get to join Chef Roger Fregler on Cooking with House and Home. So to start off our program tonight, we now join Chef Eddie Sowa using the famous Billas bread. Now let's see what he's preparing. Here's Cooking with Goodman Filda. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Chef Eddie and welcome to Cooking with Goodman Philly. Tonight we'll be cooking fish bread. We have dolitin fish here, some onion, salt, pepper, and yellow powder, and bilas bread. And we have some water here and plain flour. To start with this, we're going to add some water inside the plain flour. Use a whisk, make a good mix. If you see your plain flour is still strong, Add some water again. Make sure your plain flour is runny and best to dip your fish bread inside. Now you can see our plain flour is a little bit runny and it's perfect. So now we're going to add some salt, some pepper. Give a mix again. Make sure all the ingredients inside must be mixed properly. Now we're gonna add some yellow powder. Give a good mix. And some medley butter. Mix it properly. As you can see, all the ingredients are inside now. So what we need to do is just mix, mix, mix. Now, our fish bread flour is ready. So we're gonna add some salt here, some pepper, and add the onion. We're gonna mix them now. Make sure you mix, all the onion must be mixed properly with the tin fish. As you can see, all the onions are inside mixed very perfectly with the tuna. And it's ready and set to go. I'm going to grab some bread here, use the medley butter. As you can see here, we line the bread here. So we're going to use this side. So we're going to grab this. them on top like this make sure you put your protein and your onion you know perfectly on the sides so you can feel the taste of the food when you are heating it 
This would be our cover, cover them on top, like this, like this. Make sure you press them down to be tight, like this. So now we're going to cut them now, like this. After cutting them, double the presser again, on both sides. Now I'm going to pour the oil, which is Crisco. Add some oil again. Make sure your oil is bigger than this, so the whole fish bread will be cooked perfectly. I'm gonna add the bread inside to our fish bread. Dip it gently into the fish bread flour, gently like this. Now, as you can see, our fish bread is ready to be deep fried. Gently grab the fish bread, this, put it slowly inside, like this, as you can see. Same as this. Inside here. Now as you can see here, our fish bread is cooking. Make sure you move your fish bread like this so it won't get stuck. So easily for you to, you can change over the positions that the fish bread is. Once you see the fish bread is moving like this, you know that it's easily to turn over the next side to be cooked. Then you turn over your fish bread again like this. As you can see, what color we are looking for is the golden brown color. This is very easy. It's not that long for you to cook, but it's just three minutes cook for this fish bread. Now our fish bread is ready. I'm gonna remove them. I'm gonna put them in my chopping board. As you can see, by putting them here, we just remove some oil. Now I'm gonna put them on the plate. This, some space here. This, put some tomato inside here. Some of this, and then some tomato, and then we finish off with this. There you go, viewers. Our fish bread is ready. That was cooking with Goodman Filda with Chef Eddie using the famous Bilas bread to simply show us how to prepare fish bread also combined with a salad. So there you have it, fish bread with salad on cooking with Goodman Filda. Coming up after the break, we join Leon Gawi on Shopping with Brian Bell for updates on their back to school accessories. Stay tuned. Yeah,
Welcome back. Now this is the time of the year where all parents want to make sure their children are fully equipped and geared up for school. Well, tell you what, Brian Bell has it all covered for you. Now let's take a look at Shopping with Brian Bell. Here's Leon Gawi. Enjoy. Good evening and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. It's that time of the year again, back to school. And sure, Brian Bell doesn't have any stationaries or uniforms to sell you, but we have great quality products that will help you in this academic year. We have stuff like water coolers, drink bottles, lunch boxes, rice cookers, flash drives, and furniture that will help you in this academic year. So come on, let's get started. Our first product to show tonight for our back to school segment is our Coleman drink coolers. They come in a range of different sizes, starting at 1.3 liters and spanning up to 3.8 liters. Here's a fun fact for you kids. Did you know that 50% of your body is made up of water? And in these hot PNG conditions, it's important that you children stay hydrated so you can learn better in your classrooms. These Coleman coolers are well insulated and keep your drinks nice and cool for you all day long. It's durable and easy to carry, ideal for keeping you hydrated all day long. Now if you feel that our common coolers are too big and not stylish enough for you, then check out our range of drink bottles. These drink bottles come in a range of different colors and sizes, and with its cool metallic look, it's definitely something cool to keep you cool kids cool. The top handle can be easily attached onto your school bag, or you can carry it around on the side pouch of your bag. There are a range of different sizes and colors for all ages. One of the most important things that you'll need to get back to school are school bags. Brian Bell stocks a huge range of Coleman school bags that are durable and made to last. With its durable waterproof material, it's perfect for children and adults both. Whether you're doing your masters or you're in grade three, this bag is for you. There are compartments in the bag that can hold your stationery and even a compartment that can hold your laptop. These bags are efficient and come in assorted colors. Now a notable mention are the flash drives and memory cards that we store. They range from 4 gigabytes to a massive 128 gigabytes and in this technological environment they can help you achieving your goal of passing this academic year. Flash drives can hold important notes, assignments and documents that you can later see on your computer or laptop. And memory cards can easily store important study material on your phone or your tablet and is portable for you to carry around any place so you can study almost anywhere. Now we see something for our tertiary students. With the coming academic year, there are certain essentials that you will need at university or college. One of them is this rice cooker. Check out this Integrity 1 liter rice cooker. Its electronic controls has a keep warm feature and an automatic on and off switch button. This product is more than just a rice cooker. It can cook meats, veggies and even noodles. It's easy to wash, clean and maintain. So if you're not going to make it a mess, then you can cook up a good meal in your room and continue studying. Now accompanied with this are our lunch boxes. Now I know your lunch schedule can get a bit hectic at times and you may miss a meal because you have to sit through a lecture. Well an easy fix would be, would be to get one of these lunch boxes, simply pass it on to your friend and ask them to get your lunch from the mess. This is an easy fix and after your lecture, you can enjoy your meal. Here at Brian Bell, we stock an extensive range of lunch boxes with easy lock lids. These are also microwave friendly and a real must have for the university life. There's a variety of lunch boxes for the little ones, like the Systema 3 combo lunch box set, with a partitioned lunch box, a drink bottle, and a 200 ml container for a snack during recess, so parents can prepare a wholesome lunch meal for their children. Our final products are found in our furniture department. The first one is the study chair with tab. The study chair with tab is simply a study chair with a tab attachment on the side that can easily fold up to create a work surface. This work surface, you can put your papers on here and take down notes or you can put study material on this and read off it. This is an excellent addition to any student's room and it's also economical with space. When there's no need for the tab then it can be easily moved or folded and used as a chair. 
it's also durable and easy to move around. And at the same time, its comfy cushion seats and backrest make your study time more effective. Because if you're not comfortable, then concentrating on a task can be a difficult situation. Lastly, we see this single student desk with chair. This is an excellent option for children to have in their rooms. This two-piece study set is made from a solid metal frame and finished off with a wood table to give it the classic school desk look. There's a convenient compartment under the desk to keep your papers and books. It also has a hook on the side of the desk where you can hang your bag. It's also portable and can easily fit into any corner of the house where your child can come home and complete their homework, prepare for an exam or test, or complete an assignment. Now as you've seen tonight, Brian Bell may not stock any stationery or uniforms, but we have a great range of quality products that can help you kickstart your academic year. From our drink bottles, our coolers, our school bags, rice cookers and lunch boxes, to our SD cards and flash drives and our furniture that can help you study, we stock it here for you. So come on down and pick up something to kickstart your academic year. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. Good night and God bless. There you go, viewers. Better check out the Brian Bell Home Center at Gordon's for back-to-school products which are of great quality and affordable prices. Thanks, Leon Gawi, for helping our friends watching. All right, when we come back after the break, Dr. Ambi speaks to us about the common issues that women face after childbirth. So stay watching. Welcome back. Have you ever been depressed, oppressed, and suppressed after childbirth? I am very sure a high percentage of women are heading down that road. Well, before the break, I mentioned something about Dr. Ambi speaking about the common issues that women face after childbirth. Well, this is to all the strong women out there. Here's Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Enjoy. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Hi viewers, welcome to our Healthy Mind show again. Well, this evening we got good, nice blood talk talk for especially for the women or the mothers who are becoming disturbed after the childbirth. Well, I mean, one plus good blood topic because meeting in Mosem is very important for us to know why mothers are getting disturbed, mentally unhealthy after the childbirth because it's very important for all of us to know that so that we can encourage our mothers to stay mentally and physically healthy to look after their beautiful babies. Well, when we talk about childbirth, well, viewers, this evening, me like talk was a one plus hamamas occasion. Or same lo childbirth come up, you women become, they look forward a positive experience. They like to be a very positive experience. The arrival of the newborn come up, one him something, em come up, also him try plus peace, na joy, em come up, lo life, lo, you know, lo mama, na papa, em the whole family and your society as well. So, however, some pla all mama, em developing some black kind of disturbances after the childbirth. So we are focusing on, especially the mothers become disturbed, mentally unhealthy after the childbirth. So what are those different issues of the postnatal issues? When I talk about postnatal issues, that means after the childbirth issues. One of them is the blues. 
Okay, there are three conditions. The first condition is called the blues. Why? Because this is a common situation or common problem or the common state which happens just after the baby is on the mothers become is a new thing in their life they become unhealthy in their mind they become very distressed they become irritable they become anger and sometimes most of the time they are tearful and cry and become sad but this is what uh, typically it is very very common from the third day to 10 days and I want to tell the viewers you know we will talk about how to reassure these things but that is common you do not worry about it that is blues most of the women they go through after the baby is born. The number two condition is called depression. This is just like any other depressions, it becomes a situation which is created that it becomes obvious after the childbirth, the mother becomes very sad and very tearful again, just like the blues, but it's a bit more that the mother becomes very tired, very sleep disturbances and also very upset about the whole thing, negative about herself and her husband or family and especially the child. This illness can be exist for more than 12 months if it's not treated okay so we need to take note of it number three condition is a psychosis that is a major mental illness which is very rare sometimes infections after the childbirth also can cause but what what is psychosis is the most severe postnatal mental health issue and it is similar to a confusional state the what happened the mother start hallucinating hearing voices which is not there they see things which is not there obviously within two weeks onward the mother can start behaving abnormally and they can also have an impact on harming the child they want to harm themselves or they lose their association with the existing they don't know that they are sick they don't know they are ill and they don't know where they are they are confused so emulsion one plus major mental illness so this can remain for several months which is not good for mother not good for baby and not good for any one of us so it's very important to know the blues the depression and the psychosis and three plus sicknesses now why do some mama em come up or develop what is the reason they develop these issues one is the extra work being a burden to them so mother is now newly becoming a baby is born and she's not the normal mother anymore she's looking after and she has to take care of baby it become a stressful situation or some like change him come him can trigger low this like kind of issue number two childbirth is an event okay so there is a great emotional changes emotional means uh, think think blow you change hamama cme change and such events can trigger depression and number three they lose independence for they who they are they change relationship is changes between now you have to take care of the mother more and uh, the baby more than the uh, your hubby so there is some issues are uh, happening cultural factors can be influencing and during childbirth the women's body is changing physically changing so the chemical changes also can trigger this like kind of issues and also women's are unhappy marriages or premarital issues all social issues also can create or trigger these issues and finally if the mama has got some kind of pre uh, baby before the baby is born the childbirth has got some mental health issue also can be the reason to become mentally unhealthy I'm sure I after the break we can talk more on how we can deal with this issue healthy mind was proudly brought to you by telecom png limited
is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Why is the mother's mental health is very important? Well, viewers, we can say that, oh, mama, I'm give up giving baby now, come out, pin his name, how mama must have no God. Mental health of the mother is very, very important because mother, why are it's important? Most of the time, the mama, yeah, by feeling same, blood talk, talk, or same, and got depression or blues or this like kind, yeah, and by holding them stuff inside because mothers are greatly what happened, they have less emotional support. I'm baby and come up, the whole eyes of the whole family and everybody, oh, look, 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 baby stuff. This like time, Mama, I'm feeling, I said, suppose me talk, me got some emotional issues, uh, and by come up some like kind issue, or come up, like, all feeling same, now all up, talk, talk. So it is important for us as a family to look into the mothers, or oh, is she okay, like whatever we have discussed now, is she sad, is she looking all right, or this like kind, no can also be paranoid about, now look, look, it's also same talk, so it's also the important knowledge is important for us to bring the mother's mental health better. So most of the time, they, when they feel unhappy, we, they don't tell you, so they keep quiet. So thus, you need to be especially sensitive about the mother's mental health. I would really urge the parents of the mother or the in-laws or husband must get together and keep giving that support to the mother. So because uh, if the mother's mental health is very good, well, the, your baby is going to be grown because the future of the baby, the mental health of the baby, and even for the husband's mother's mental health is very important to stay peace and happy and bring things. So what can we do if your mother, wife, or somebody has got blues? Well, let me reassure, blues are normal condition which occurs in anybody, any mother who has given birth. So, you know, in the family, you guys can get up and give some help to the mother to bring the balance because there is some new change in her life. So, give some support, baby, helping the mother or baby or so. Now, the mother should be get adequate rest. So, if the mother is going through blues, give her some rest, rest, give some help and reassure her nothing is wrong. It's after 10 days, she's going to be all right. Talk to the mother and let to ask her to share the concerns and worries. Don't become a gossip monger or fight and pick on them and fight. Let her share what is feeling and make all negative to positive. Mama by come up good. If the mother does not feel better after a week or 10 days, just beware whether she needs any more help. That is to deal with the blues itself. If you don't get better, get help. Now, what do we do with the postnatal depression? Well, we need to reassure the mother sometime after 10 days, you can go on, but uh, if it's going to last more than two weeks, then ask for help. So finally, what we want to say, the familiar symptoms of postnatal depression learn about it. If you have an issue, ask help. And we want to reassure the mothers who go through the depression, you're not going mad. It is a condition, it's a chemical changes, you give the medicine, you buy all right ask the father or the relatives or anybody to help again so that you become strength and motivated and get yourself to take care of the baby until you're ready you take care of the baby no good get help talk to the mother regularly about the symptoms and signs you know if the families must talk about it teach the breathing exercise it's good to take a deep breathing exercise hold him taped and take breath and hold it and ten count 10 and breathe out and then emir release him uh, reset him chemicals all good plus straight now mind blow you too and by focus ensure that you will get good adequate rest and bed rest especially and keep looking after your child encourage to hold you can do some play hold the baby breastfeed do all that if you have a sleep problem get some help from the doctor and if the symptoms persist ask always doctor we are coming to the final. How do we deal with the postnatal psychosis? Oh, that is not a M. Mama, you know, M yet. Now, M can harm the baby, M can harm himself, or create him triple problem. So, mother, what will I do? We need that need hospitalization. You need to see a doctor urgently. And also, they need to give antipsychotic medications. So, what will I do? Reassure you. Even if you do mentally unhealthy, a psychotic, 
get hospitalized, get the doctor to deal with that, the mother will be back to normal. And same time, allow the mother and child bonding to, re but under supervision until the mother is ready. Well, viewers, you have heard this is in basic principles. Let me tell you something that mother's mental health is very important. Well, we need to work on it and I'll encourage the husbands and families and in-laws to be there to bring beautiful mothers who can make the beautiful nation. Well, viewers, until next week, week also we to talk about more in good topics to get our knowledge right to stay healthy. Until then, take care. And God bless you all. Bye-bye now. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom P&G Limited. The common issues that women face after childbirth. What a great topic. Viewers, that was Healthy Minds with Dr. Abi. Thanks to Dr. Ambi for helping out on that. We go for a quick breather and we'll catch up on the other side at the Port Mosby Nature Park with Animal Plus on House and Home. Welcome back for this week's edition on Animal Plus. We join Mr. Ishimu Bebe talking about one of the native breed here in Papua New Guinea. Let's see what it is. Animal Plus covering the basic facts about footbeds. One of the most fascinating but a sad moment at the same time is when I spotted an eagle literally capturing the food bed for a tasty meal and enjoying it every minute, every second as I watched. I wish I could do something to save the food bed, but obviously humans don't fly, right? Anyways, that was Animal Plants featuring the food beds at the Port Mosby Nature Park. A quick breather is up, but please don't go away as we have Cooking with House at Home coming up. on House and Home. I'm Theresa Miria and I'm back here at the Port Mosby Nature Park for another great adventure with Mr. Bebe who's been so helpful since the beginning of last year and I also trust you've all enjoyed your holidays. Anyways, the Port Mosby Nature Park has been constantly promoting Papua New Guinea's amazing and native wildlife. Let's go see what Mr. Bebe has to feature. Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the spectacle beds. Uh, the spectacle beds here are native to the island of New Guinea and they are found at the fringes of the island of New Guinea. They come under this big uh, family group of animals called mammals and they have a poor, poor vision. Uh, the spectacle beds, because they have a poor vision, they have a highly developed system of echolocation. They make a high, high pitch sound that helps them or it aids them to, travel, uh, to fly up when they are in the, in the forest. So this uh, system of echolocation helps the birds to fly in the forest. In terms of the diet, uh, the birds here, the spectacle birds, they feed on nectar and plants. Some other birds, they feed on insects and other uh, moths uh, in the wild. In terms of reproduction, females give birth to one young at a time and carry them in their bodies. Since their wings are not too strong to help them fly, they have to remain fully dependent all along. Fruit bats have predators depending on their location. 
most predators that attack directly are both the hawk and the eagle. This eagle has just captured its prey and is feasting on it. The spectacle birds can be dangerous, especially when you are handling, handling them, uh, especially with the kids. Uh, they can give a nasty bite. So please, when you come to an encounter with one of the flying foxes or the birds, please don't handle them unless you know where to handle these animals. As the fruit bats gradually grow and become stronger, their wings help them fly and of course it is of great use for protection during the rainy season where they wrap themselves to keep them dry and warm. Um, in the ecosystem, this animal here plays a very important role because they feed on nectar and plants. They, um, they are good pollinators. Some of the fruiting trees in the rainforest, they are being pollinated by these flying foxes, like the spectacle beds. So they play a very important role for us human beings and they pollinate the plants for us. Um, the survival of the fruit increase in the forest, they depend entirely on the flying foxes. So the next time you see a flying fox on the markets of Port Mosby, please think and stop buying bushmeat. Help us to save some of these um, animals because they play a very important role in the ecosystem that we, we live in, especially the natural environment that we coexist within the ecosystem and we enjoy the environment that we stay and we live with these animals here. Animal Plus covering the basic facts about fruit bats. One of the most fascinating but a sad moment at the same time is when I spotted an eagle literally capturing the fruit bat for a tasty meal and enjoying it every minute, every second as I watched. I wish I could do something to save the fruit bat, but obviously humans don't fly, right? Anyways, that was Animal Plus featuring the fruit bats at the Port Mosby Nature Park. A quick with us up, but please don't go away as we have cooking with House at Home coming up. On this edition on Cooking with House and Home, we join Chef Roger Fregla once again for another delightful recipe. As usual, the Chef Roger style. Enjoy. Good evening, viewers. I'm here in uh, Machine Gun Beach, going to do some st beef stir fry and I got uh, some nice uh, steak, actually I use the steak but you can use um, any other beef. When you cut the beef, there is a way of cutting the beef, you can see this one here and it is so soft like you can tear apart. How you cut it is um, you cut the beef against the grain, not with the grain, if you cut the beef with the grain, it will be very tough. So that's the secret of slicing beef. So you can see here. So it's, it's across the grain. So it should look like this when you cut the beef. I got uh, some um, oil here, canola oil, some um, capsicum, carrot, onions, and some shallots, and also some fresh garlic and ginger here. I start with um, some oil. Ample amount of oil so it's not going to stick onto the wok. And start with uh, some uh, onions here. And leave some onions for the last bit to be crunchy give it a bit of stir and then my uh, beef goes in there
give a bit of stir for the beef. Bit more oil to the sides. And in the meantime, I want to slice some um, red capsicum for color. Also, I don't mind doing a bit of chilies on it. Get the seed out of it. And I already got some um, green capsicum here. Give a stir again. Make sure the wok is really hot, piping hot, so the beef will be nice and stock. It won't give any um, juice, won't be coming out. So the, when the juice comes out, only the beef goes tougher. So the method of doing this is we just sealing all the sides of the beef. My beef is almost cooked. I get uh, my um, green capsicum into that and uh, carrot and also a bit more onions into it. Give it a stir. Now I add a little bit of soy sauce. And I got some oyster sauce here. Make sure these are sauce you add it last minute because it's going to burn. I add a bit more sauce into that. There you go. Almost done. Now, lastly, I add some corn flour. I'll have some shallots ready for me. I'll add my um, red capsicum. I'm done. It looks beautiful. There you go. Bit of chili on top. I'll slice my um, spring onions. Little bit of spring onions for garnish. Beef stir fry with oyster sauce, Chef Roger style. Uh, see you next time. There you go, viewers. 
the Chef Roger way of preparing the beef stir fry with oyster sauce. Better try that out by simply applying the method. Thanks to Chef Roger for that. All right now, viewers, it's been wonderful having your company on this fifth episode of House and Home. It's time for me to leave, but a reminder from me to you all, please do keep an eye out for House and Home next week, Tuesday, same time. And if you've missed out on watching the previous episodes, including part of tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV Online website. And remember, there's more you can get out for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. I'm Teresa Miria, and as usual, on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of the week. It's all about the better man for your life with house and home.